Good morning, YouTubers. It's 6th of February. It's uh, 1220 on the East Coast. At least the East Coast of Detroit. Um, what, I want to show you the board and where things are at right now. Uh, West Coast, cold as, cold as can be. I don't know what's going on over there. But before you find a red zone is Houston. That's the closest red zone. So what the red zone is is where the trucks are needed. And if you're sitting in a truck stop or rest area or just getting unloaded and you've got three or four places to choose from where to take your next load you want to go where the trucks are short by going where the trucks are short you're gonna make more money so uh, Cleveland's looking good Western Tennessee's there Houston's good in Atlanta if you want to scoot up to that uh, New York New Jersey border on the East Coast that that's always good but the pickings are slim, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. So focus on where the freight is and where it's not. And you want to put your truck where it's going to be needed. Get turned around faster and make more money. So that's our philosophy and how we do things. Uh, if you study this board and you go to where the red is, you're going to make more money. And you want to make sure the red zones are into high volume areas like Houston, Cleveland. Um, you know, that makes a big difference. Uh, going into a, a, an area that needs trucks, but they only need 100 trucks and, and they have 50 loads. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about big areas that have lots of freight. Um, then the, the, you'll find the brokers are much more negotiable. They'll react faster. And you'll keep that truck moving and that's really what the goal is here is to keep those trucks moving if you need any help give me a shout look forward to seeing you on our next video